OMG! Did you do something with your hair? Love. Hungry fella? that President Trump has had with getting rid of whatever accomplishment was achieved by President Obama and Vice President Biden. And then we'll just do a casual accusation of racism. How many times does, does President Trump have to denounce white supremacy in the KKK? Disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. When you say the party is self-destructing, what do you see as the biggest problem with the Reform Party right now? Well, you've got David Duke just joined. A bigot, a racist, a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. So are you prepared right now to make a clear and unequivocal statement renouncing the support of all white supremacists? Of course I am. Of course I am. I'm about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. <sighs> USA, all lives matter. More years, baby, Latinas for Trump. Yeah, yes, sir. Trump 2020, baby! Yeah! Four more years, baby! Four more years! Homies for Trump, baby! Yeah! We love Trump! Just saying.
Hey, hey, come on. Hey, chill, hey, chill, 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 chill. Hey, chill it. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Riverside, California is now at level one lockdown again, meaning indoor dining is closed and people are mad about it. Maybe if you stayed home and respected everyone else's health, we could get over this. I just have to point something out. The kids that are out there on the front lines protesting, they were raised by my generation. That means they were in the car seats in the back of the car while we were driving along the road listening to NWA, Public Enemy, Dr. Dre, Nas, Pac. You know, the F the police, fight the power, changes. Every one of those songs was about racial revolution. So I don't know how all you white people are surprised. This has been generations in the making. These kids are mad and they're gonna change the world. Because Biden is more Trump than Trump. Everything Trump does, Joe Biden does better. Think about it. Why do people love Trump? Trump's not controlled by anyone. Oh, yeah? Well, Joe Biden isn't even controlled by Joe Biden. Trump wants to make America great again. Oh, yeah? Well, Joe Biden is so old, he just wants to make America. Trump says you can grab a woman by the pussy. Oh, yeah? Biden goes out there and gets it done. Guys, Biden is Trump 2.0. Think about it. Trump separates immigrant kids from their parents at the border. Joe Biden, he separates American kids from their parents at the White House. See, Biden loves the children. Do you really think Trump is more anti-abortion than Biden? Hell no. Every fetus that's aborted is a lock of hair he doesn't get to sniff. <sighs> Biden is a man of principle. He likes his women like he likes his scotch. Age 12 years and stored in a cellar. Right now, Daphne, I have to figure out why my trap didn't work. Donald Trump is a white supremacist. Well, stop. If you vote for him again, you're a white supremacist. Huh. Just coordinate the timing. I know you're upset because of what I didn't do in our bed. Sometimes I regret. Then I question what's wrong with your head Cause I'm not gonna eat your ass I'm on the phone I'm not gonna eat your ass Just because I don't want to Doesn't mean I don't love you But I'm not doing that in the farm everyone will own shares or pieces of the farm that are equal to the amount i need you guys to go ham and share this video more than any other video because this blows my mind here this lady right here is having issues with losing her farm this lady saw it as an opportunity to be the racist that she has been upset about for the last 400 years and try to take the farm by raising money to buy it crazy right it's crazy how the people who think there's so much hate in the world end up being the hate. Not to mention, she's just an idiot because I don't think she's ever done anything real estate wise, but dividing the land into how much you donated, so I'm gonna get a square inch of land because I donated 10 bucks, not possible, not feasible, you're crazy. Also, if you watch her videos, the only reason she's doing this is because that lady is Republican. I'd love to see this play out in reverse and have a white lady try to take a black lady's land. Anyway, this lady has ways to donate. I'm not sure what they are. I think it's a GoFundMe right here. Go over to her account, show her some love, the, the black lady here has raised like 40K or something, which blows my mind. Go help this lady out. Thanks. Suéltame la verga. Ya, 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 ya,
Es que no se pegue, ¿por qué se pega? I'm Joe Collins. I'm running for Congress against Maxine Waters. Do you know where I am right now? Maxine Waters' six million dollar mansion. Do you know where I'm not right now? Maxine Waters District. Yep, that's right. Maxine does not live in her district, but I do. I was born right here in South LA, in a place Maxine refuses to live. Maxine Waters does not drink our water, she does not breathe our air, and while she sits here in her mansion, our district is in ruins. Let me show you. This is South LA. I was born here. I grew up on 104th and Normandy. Maxine Waters has been in office for 44 years. Has anything got better around here? I can tell you firsthand that it hasn't. I survived a drive-by shooting in this house when I was a child. Gangs, drugs, violence, that was my upbringing. And where was Maxine Waters? Nowhere to be found. I survived Maxine's district. Graduated high school, went on to join the U.S. Navy. I fought for this country. But while I was fighting for this country, Maxine Waters could not be bothered to fight for her own district here in America. And when I returned from war, I came back to my community as a war zone. And why doesn't Maxine Waters want to live in her own district? Because she doesn't want to suffer the consequences of her own policies. South Los Angeles has been represented by Maxine Waters for 44 years. What has she done for this district? Just this year, deadly crime spiked 15% in South LA, much of it due to gang activity. The homicide rate in South LA has shot up by 53%. South LA has the highest poverty rate in the city with the crippling 43% of its residents living below the poverty line. Meanwhile, in LA County has a homeless population of over 40,000 people. Homelessness rates has increased by 264% since 2009. Los Angeles is one of the largest hubs of sex trafficking of young girls and women. LA is in the top 10 least safest cities in America to raise a family. And our schools fail our children. In South LA, 29% of black children never graduate high school. Look at this. How many little Latino and black children has been abandoned by Maxine Waters? This is the reality for children every day in Maxine Waters district. Maxine doesn't care about our district. She only cares about herself and using our tax dollars to buy mansions. When Maxine fails to lead, riots and violence surge in our streets while our buildings and businesses burn. Maxine sits safe in her mansion, guarded by the same police she demonizes. Maxine has never had to deal with violence or riots in her neighborhood. That must be nice. But this is the way the rest of us lives. We need someone to represent us who lives here, who fights here, who wants to improve our way of life. Someone who understands we need safe streets and a strong economy. Our children should never have to grow up living in fear of being killed like I did on this block. You send me to Washington and I'll make sure our children never have to live in a war zone. Unlike Maxine Waters, I know the pain that crime, violence, gangs, homelessness does to our children. I was one of the kids left behind by Maxine Waters. I'm going to fight for safety and dignity for South LA. The only question you need to ask is this. In the last 44 years, where has Maxine Waters been? Our people deserve better. My name is Joe Collins. I'm a veteran, I'm a patriot, and I actually care about our lives in LA. LA deserves better. Let's retire Maxine Waters to her mansion. I'm Joe Collins, and I'm the man to do it. Just a friendly reminder, if you don't want to catch COVID, just wear anything Cowboys, because they can't catch shit. Um, let me say this. Anybody on the left, if you think it's okay to pay your government 60% of what you make during a year, yeah. you need to go get your head checked because that is not fair. It's not, yeah. And that is modern-day slavery. You're going to go to work in a country and you automatically owe that country 6% on what you earned? That's modern-day slavery. Yeah, you earned that money. The government just come in, all right? 
I'll take my 60% cut. Thanks for working hard for me, boy. <laughs> you heard about my ex-boyfriend, right? 50 Cent and his support of of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets and I go, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend. And then he, what does he do? He's supporting Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which, by the way, isn't a plan of, of Joe Biden's. That's, that's, that's a lie. So he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being 50 cents to 20 cents. <laughs> and, I, and I had to remind him that he was a black person so he can't vote for Donald Trump and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook. So I haven't heard back from him yet, but I, I am willing to, you know, seal the deal in more ways than one if he changes his mind and publicly denounces Donald Trump. I might be willing to go for another spin, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Donald Trump. And, that, and I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Donald Trump. And that he... Huh. Better than Did you know that Biden, in 47 years of politics, has only been a racist, said racist things about you and me, personally, as black people, and made a bill to incarcerate black people with Bill Clinton, the crime bill. Look it up. The man just said, you ain't black unless you vote for him. All right. He also said he didn't want his children going to school in a racial jungle. Didn't want integration. He was for segregation. Also, not only that, he also said that poor kids can be just as bright and just as intelligent as white kids. Meaning that black, brown, red, yellow are poor. When he thinks poor, he doesn't think white at all. He's thinking about you and me. The dude ain't did nothing but hurt black people. And then his running mate, Kamala Harris, she's got a career of locking up black people. A career. Now, let's move over to Trump. You asked me why I'm voting for Trump. Before Trump was the president, did not everybody love him? In their music videos, rap videos, all the magazines. He got awards from black communities in the NAACP. Everybody loved him. But then when he came to president, they said he's a racist. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Because when he came into politics, he started what he said, drain the swamp. He started taking out all the, polit not just politicians, the evil, corrupt politicians. Fired them, took them out, made them go away, and put in his people. Did you notice since he's been president, un the, the economy has been better than it ever been. Unemployment at an all-time low. More jobs created than ever before. He stopped making, pe making us an uh, uh, importer and made us an exporter. To me, that means we make more money. People talk about the wall. That he wanted to build over there in Mexico. Do you know why he wanted to build the wall? And remember they said that he was racist because he said that, that my brothers and sisters is Mexican is murderers and rapists and stuff, right? That's not what he said. If you listen to the clip, he said that the MS-13, the gang, are rapists and murderers. Not Mexicans. Not Mexicans. But they twisted that to make everybody around us believe that he's a racist. Okay? Then they say, make America great again. What does he mean? When was America great? When you talk about make America great again... What he means is make America like what I just said, an exporter again, have jobs again, have people believe in the American dream again, that they want to come to this country and they know that they're going to make it. Had nothing to do with race. All right. Not only that, the man gave funding for the next 10 years. This has never been done for historic black colleges and universities, the HBCUs. Barack Obama didn't even do that. He did prison reform, meaning which directly affects us, affects us as black people because we fill up the prisons. You feel me? He said, if you're a nonviolent offender and it's just like drugs or something and you ain't kill nobody or pull a gun on nobody, you get to come, you can come home, man. There's programs set in place for you to be able to come home. He did everything that he could to show by his actions that he ain't a racist and a damn good president. He did all that. Yet, we still running around here, the people that only watch the news, 
We're saying, hell no, nah, we vote for Biden because Biden was with Obama or Biden did so much great, but nobody can tell you none of the great that he did. But they could pull up every single thing that he's done to the black community. Specifically, Hillary Clinton called us super predators. Matter of fact, if the man isn't if the man isn't a racist, why did he speak at the KKK members eulogy and said that he was his uh, hero or inspiration or whatever? So why, why does he deserve your vote and not the man who's actually showing you that he cares about you? The president has done more for the hood, black community, Hispanic community than any other president since Lincoln. feel me why would you know me bro i'm 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 a hood nigga you know me so why would i be telling you that bill clinton is the one that did that that the crime bill but they pushed it exactly he knows his stuff he know his stuff see like trump he gonna bring the jobs back he been bringing them back and that's why they did this coronavirus shit like you say you say the export uh now will be the biggest export instead of china exactly he bought steel manufacturing the automobile industry they said that that was dead and look at us now, booming. They hit us with coronavirus. You notice that when coronavirus hit, they said everybody got to stay in the house. Nobody could go out. But yet, if you're Black Lives Matter or Antifa, you could go out and protest and burn shit down and nobody's going to say nothing. But the coronavirus is so bad. We out here standing with masks. You feel me? Why? It's an agenda. I looked her up and down and I said, girl, you're looking fine. Then she pulled out a penis that was twice the size of mine. You! Yeah! Mm, nothing ruins a Friday more than realizing that it's Tuesday. Do you support gay marriage? No, Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support that. And Trump's the homophobe? So I come in this morning and we're informed there's going to be a protest to um, defund the police. Well, that's fine. I like protests. Except for they requested a police presence you know, for their safety at the defund police event. <sighs> I shit you not. Have a good one. Put your mask on. Watch out, the virus is gonna get you. Oh, why do you gotta wear, what? you didn't have your mask on the whole time and now you're putting your mask on. Here's the guy, he's been standing here the whole time without his mask. Here's his camera dude with no mask on. But here he is, now he's still trying to scare everyone. Now he's gonna put his mask on while he reports. Keep spreading that fear, buddy. Keep spreading that fear. Why didn't you have your mask on before? Now he's not talking to me. Why didn't you have your mask on the last 10 minutes? So huh? They're asking us to wear it per guidelines for television. To oh, oh, so you're told what to do. Exactly, you just told me you weren't told what to do. You just told me you could do whatever you want. I said I was told not, I wasn't told what to say. Oh, oh, you're just told what to wear. We're trying to follow and set a good example. Oh, okay, set a good example. Is that what it is? Okay. Sir, I, I appreciate it. Can you please, can you please let me do my job now? I like filming phonies. What's your name again? David Phony? Kaplan. <laughs> yeah, go somewhere else. Hello. Hello, is that Espanol? No, sorry. Okay. Can I get the number four, please? Let's do Light Ranch. Um, yeah, we'll do, you know what? Just go with the ranch. Let's do the ranch. Uh-uh, I'm bad. Mark, what do you want? It's not a real car. 
All these horses in my car got me going fast. I just wanna do the dance. Put my powder to the glass. Going so fast. So Shit! Leave me alone. Go now. Yeah, Jolene's better than me. No, it's is that what it is? It's Literally, you got Jolene. pissed at me because I said I liked someone's man by you videotaping this. Yeah. Leave now. No. Come here. Leave now. Please just Leave come here. Leave me alone. Please. No, you've done too Please. much. No. Nice, nice. Ah, so uh, where do you want to do this? I literally don't know what you're talking about. Okay, playing hard to get. There's a whole crowd of people down the road offering the same thing virtually. You know, I could I could have stopped there, but they look kind of pissed off about something. So um, so I'm here. So I'm just curious uh, when you want to do this. You know, come on, what are they gonna do? Call the cops? <laughs> What do you want from me? Are we gonna fuck or what? No. This means I don't like the police. I hate cops. Oh. Okay. I knew that. Johnson, that is a negative. Do not bring the KY jelly. Do you, I repeat, do not bring the KY. And my question is, you said that you don't want that in Jacob's name and neither would he. Tell me more about that, please. Absolutely not. My family and I are very hurt and quite frankly disgusted. And as his mother, please don't burn up property and cause havoc and tear your own homes down in my son's name. You shouldn't do it. People shouldn't do it anyway. But to use my child or any other mother or father's child, our tragedy, to react in that manner is just not acceptable. Mm. And it's not helping Jacob. It's not helping Jacob or any other of the men or women who has suffered in these areas. Do you have anything to say, Ms. Jackson, to the politicians who are out there or do you, anything you want to say? <laughs> to the presidents or the candidates or to Trump or Biden or anything like that? For, for our President Trump, um, first, I want to say a family member, and I don't know if it was heard or not said something that was um, not kind. She is hurting, and um, I do apologize for that. Our outburst that does not reflect um, our behavior. And then also for President Trump, um, I'm sorry I missed your call, because had I not missed your call, maybe the comments that you made would have been different. And I'm not mad at you at all. Hmm. I have most respect for you as the leader of our country. Um, like I said before, and I'm not saying this to him directly, we should always get the details from the right source before we start throwing bricks. Do you end or do you fall? Did you put this on my balls? Oh, skit, skit, the mother talker. Oh, skit, 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 skit. You know how us Democrats like a shortcut, like government spending to prop up the economy. Nothing more we love than those uh, federal programs. <laughs> you two are Democrats, aren't you? What? <laughs> <laughs> of course we are. I mean, you see the color of our skin, don't you? How could we not? Blindly vote Democratic. I mean, that would be ridiculous.
I can't pretend Are we gonna be okay? Cause it don't feel that way Are we gonna be okay? Maybe I don't feel the same Who's gonna love? You quit like me 